Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. So, let's go recover our crap. Let's go tell Delphine all we know. If you guys are liking this series, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button too. While we do this remaining of Delphine's quest. I'm never gonna get that orc coming. Alright. That sucks. Thanks a lot, stupid talent card. Take a seat and get the cold out. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Oh boy. Whatever you need. My smear if it's simple and strong, I can forge it. Of course. <laughs> All right. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Of course. Did you uh, learn anything useful? Well, I thought we're no, not a damn thing like we do about the dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? <coughs> Why did you send me if, I, if you weren't going to believe me? You're right, you're right. I just... I was sure it must have been them. If not the Thalmor, who? Or what? I don't know, but the Thalmor is looking for someone named Esbern. Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. <laughs> that crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. Yeah. What would the Thalmor want with Esbern? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Yeah. Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the Blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Of course. So the Thalmor think the Blades know about the dragons. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Yep. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? They seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Okay. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. But yeah, like, get the hell out, get the hell out. Let's go. I got a job to start, actually. Speak with the leader of the companions. Now, oh, wait, what was that? Oh, yeah, no, I just put that there to just see if I can find it while I'm flying. Above, I didn't actually believe I could see myself fucking 200 meters in the air. Up the white run I go. Well, Leah, uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm kicking you out. Shit, I forgot to do the first thing I always do in the beginning of the episode. Dismount this this myself with a bunch of crap. Let's go back. 200. So 
I wonder what would happen. Can I talk to Leah and make her this? Like the thing, my little helper out of the phone? If so, it'd be pretty dope. I still gotta go adopt one child at least. Will it be a boy or a girl? I'm not sure. Unfortunately, I've seen both beginning children I can find without having to try. I got 11,000 gold all together now. Cool. Activate disenchanting mode. Cause I don't genuinely think we're gonna do more than just maybe one extra quest off the. Yeah. There we go. Disenchant. Even though I think I checked it. No, I didn't. Disenchant the boots I have. Perfect. I'm 35 enchanting. So I'm gonna keep my dual dawn guard, my dual dawn focus, my bad wax, no bows now. No, wait, it's bookcase. This is weapons. So I might get rid of these. Keep these. So. Okay, now we can go. So now we're just two more, one more piece away from a full set. Well, okay, two technically, because this is not a full set with just plate armor. I need regular gauntlets, and regular boots. So the regular gauntlets might be made into the uh, brawler gauntlets, because with the gaunt with the dwarven right now, uh, it's like shanks. I like shanks on my side, on my freaking wrists. Then when you get the elf, it's like the eagle heads, uh, the bone, the scaled feet, dragon bones. I've got your back. Time for its part. I'll head back home if you need. They're reforming the Dawn God, vampire hunters or there something. She goes. In the old fort, they're rifting. I'd consider joining up myself. I need to increase my smithing anyway. This is the master smith. Actually. Look at me, I actually look like I should start joining this place. Alright. So let's begin the Revan's beginning ascension to the companions. Are those hey, at it again? Wait. Let's wait a second. <sighs> should I wait? This should be Strike it on the shoulder, turn. He's giving yeah. you over. 
I haven't seen you before, have I? Have we met? I'm sorry. But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. There we go. Look how high it is. My I brother and I obviously. Weapon. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. Hello. Godlike white maid. I was told by Ayala. A stranger comes to our hall. Who are the companions? Your question carries more weight than you may know, newcomer. The sort of thing some of us spend our lives pondering. Huh. The difference between a noble band of warriors and a ragged bunch of assassins is as thin as a blade's edge. Yeah. I try to hold us to the right path. Where do you stand on the war? Politics are something best avoided. I prefer more personal confrontations myself. I agree. Why did you join the Companions? Like most of our band, I found this family after losing my own. I traveled the length and breadth of this land, learning all I could of the sword and the axe. I was just a boy, but I had the fire of a man in my heart. Eventually, my body caught up to my spirit. My predecessor, Askar, found me in Hammerfell. I was serving as a bodyguard for some weak-necked lord out there. Huh. He brought me back here, and I realized that I was actually coming home. I worked to bring honor to this family, and to the family that I lost. For my mother, my father, and my grandfather. For all my S.H.I.E.L.D. siblings. Family and honor. That's what it means to be one of us, boy. Excellent. You know what? I would like to join the companions. Would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Mm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Vilkas. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your vasker for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? I can handle myself. That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. Aye. I'll beat you out there. You have words to say? You don't have anything else. Not until we get out there. The old man said to have a look at you. So, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry, I can take it. Not you. That's I just make it. Ah, pretty good arm you have there. Ah. Now that's impressive. You're mightier than you look. Thank you. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. I'm worth at least 11,000 gold. 
and your weapon is technically a Sky Force Steel, which honestly, <sighs> this weapon I'm wielding is actually worth more than all your armor combined. But oh well, a will by B, a will by Sam. What brings you here? Actually, here's Blind Smithing. Uh, Vilka sent me with a sword. I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. Yes, sir. Does Vilka always have some newcomers on there? Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. Aha. And don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the companions. Interesting. But someone has to be in charge, though. Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since Yzgrimor. Kodlak is the harbinger, and he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own, every woman her own. Alright. Are you a companion? Not actually a companion myself, but none of them know how to work a forge properly, <laughs> and I'm honored to serve them. Alright. My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge, best steel in all of Skyrim. All of Tamriel. All right, uh, I'll need to be going. I have a favor to ask. What is it? I've been working on a shield for Aela. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aela for me. I'd be honored. I'd be happy to lend a hand. That's a good man. Uh... <laughs> Almost. I just think it to the point where armor, heavy armor weighs as long as I'm wearing it. I'd be dead if not for Vignor. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. Interesting. I can't say Vignor is really my favorite Yarrow when he becomes Yarrow. The Stormcloak boy, he's okay. Anything else? I hear you have spirit. This is good. You may yet join our numbers. Thank you, sir. I want to see something. Is Vilkas actually out here? No. He's still on the other area. So he actually gets yelled for down here. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Isgrimor himself wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. Hey, hello, the Huntress. I have been... Uh, I have your shield. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Good to see you made it up here. You know this one? I saw him training in the yard with Vilkis. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. Don't let Vilkis catch you saying that. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? I don't care for boasting. Ah, a man of action. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Okay. Farkas. My brother Vilkis is a better talker than me. He should be around someplace. Huh, huh, huh. Did you call me? Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood oh, where God, the rest of the world sleeps. New blood. Oh, I remember you. Come on, follow me. Yeah, didn't I see you when we were taken when you guys were taking on the giant? Skior and Ayala like to tease me, but they're good people. They challenge us to be our best. Nice to have a new face around. It gets boring here sometimes. I hope we keep you. This can be a rough life. I'll stay. The quarters are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Telma will keep the place clean. She always has. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. Hey, you got a friend? By the way, if you're looking for something to do, We've gotten a letter about someone needing some muscle right here in Whiterun Hold. I don't know what the fight is about, and that's not our business anyway. I just need you to go out there, look tough, and scare this milk drinker into submission. 
No more than that. I don't want to hear about a killing, understand? I can handle that. Get to it then. By the way, if you're looking for something to do. Tell me. It's never the right person. It's never the right person. God damn it. I was hoping I could pull it seam. You know how effective and nice that would be? I like hidden zeal. Someone's got beef. Why? The team don't have children. They have wives to cheat on them anyway. Why not add insult to injury? Instead of that bully of, uh, a family man, really? That's not cool. Divine smile on you, friend. I've been sent to resolve hey, this. You can't scare me into submission. Let's go. Have you heard? Come on! There's been Let's another see what you're made of! Twelve septums are the big one. Tougher than you look. You got me fair and square. You know you need to you know, have to do it. Fine. I'll take care of it. Just please leave me alone. Alright. You wanna hear a little Nord wisdom? You don't really know a woman until you've had a strong dream <coughs> and a fist fight with her. Think you yeah. can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six <coughs> seconds. You think you can take me out? And why not? I could beat anyone in this city, barehanded. Let's go then. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. You're Just fists. No weapons, no magic, no crying. I ain't Let's done go. Down here then. Come on. Let's see what Don't you're made of. Someone who can get things done. I like that. Oh, You've yeah. been seen in the Shut company of the door. companions. That's an honorable path you're on, friend. I just started it and I just kicked the crap out of two people. Alright. So, out of a fighting, two people now. I've not only made an extra hundred gold. Some people don't think I'm smart. Those people get my fist. But you, I like. You're not smart. But I've taken care of the problem in the white room. You seem to have a knack for this kind of thing. I'll make sure people in charge know. Two hundred gold that you made. Mm-hmm. All right, everybody. That's where we're going to end this episode off at. We have started our companion quests line. By the end of it, this axe is going to be a new upgrade. Until then, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check out my channel, Zora42. Again, next episode, we're going to continue. But we just got to go talk to the companion leaders. Until then, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.